Huh? See a little hole behind me? Gas valve from down there when I took it off. <laughs> the, the old one? Yeah. Is that why it's all muddy? Yeah, I had to reach way in there too. Yeah, just go ahead and get the burner assembly off first and we'll we'll I'm gonna get the camera and let's let's check the tube and see if there's anything in there. Yeah. And then we'll just go from there. Alright. Hey, it works. All right, let me see what we got. Let's see what this camera figure out. <clears throat> All right, so we're looking at this second from the bottom. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. I mean, I don't see anything. Uh -uh. It would be blocking flow. So. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Oh, that was water. Really? I just I just saw the water. Yeah. Look. Yep. Cool how it fits in there perfectly, huh? <laughs> Got good suction. Yeah. We could take this off and go the other way now. Oh, 
poles right in right in the way of your feet. You know what I'm saying? I said that hole is right in the way of where your feet go. Yeah, my feet are all muddy. More that long one I just put the some extra good fun water on. I think that concludes the window there. Already blew the hose out for the pressure switch, so that's all clear. Okay, that's all good. Put this up. Bottom's not sucked in quite yet. Yeah. Probably need that guy. <clears throat> oh, what you got? Quarter inch action. Okay. Flame. You did clean that flame rod? Yep. Okay, that's got a good connection. That's grounded well. Do we need to uh, check gas pressure again, or did you already set that? I already set it. Okay. Turn this on. I'll go get the stat forks. Gas valve is on. Main valve is on. Everything looks to be wired up, free and clear. Should be good.
Happy with it? Yeah. All right, so that worked out pretty well. Um, JC was out here yesterday and basically, and I can show you a little clip here. Out of the four burners, one of them was getting some rollout. It wasn't being pulled into the heat exchanger uh, properly. So we knew there was some type of a blockage or something in that tube. Um, so today I just came out here with them and I think what happened originally, the original service call, the unit wasn't working and the uh, contactor was stuck closed. Compressor was running, it was completely frozen over. So he replaced the contactor got, uh, and let it unthaw, unthaw naturally. And what we think happened is all the water, because there is the line set, the, the vapor line running across that he heating section of the unit, because he said there was a lot of water pulled up on the, 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 the gas valve and that whole compartment. So I think, I don't know how, but water got into that tube uh, because if you listen to the video that he took originally, there was some gurgling sound before it fired up, right? The indoor fan wasn't running, inducer turns on, and you can hear a little bit of a gurgling sound. So I think, or we thought that there was some water in there impeding the airflow through that particular tube of the heat exchanger. And it turns out that's what it was. So we removed, um, I'm not sure, maybe a cup, maybe a little less worth of water out of that one particular tube. Um, and of course we put it all back together and it fired up perfectly and it's running smooth now. So good to go. Um, I was confused why I didn't see the water with my, with my uh, camera here. Uh, maybe it was just in a different spot that I couldn't reach because this only has like a, maybe a 24 inch wand, but um, nevertheless, we, we got it figured out. We actually pulled water into the vacuum, so we knew we pulled water out. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm glad that it worked out. Um, you know, JC's learned some stuff along the way, and I learned some stuff along the way too. I've actually never had water inside of a heat exchanger like that before. Let me know if you guys have. I, I've heard of other things, you know, mice get in there, maybe uh, bring in some insulation, things like that but never water on my uh, my experience. So anyway, hope you guys got something out of the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Next time, see you later.